All right, so I first want to apologize for the portrait mode here, the video setting. Going forward, I'm going to do all of the uh, landscape, so it's a widescreen. But this is just from my Instagram. I wasn't really recording things other than for my stories. So the first 29 days of a squat every day were on there. Um, these are just the top sets. I was doing back offs and singles. But so what I did through this is I really focus on the front squat and the back squat. Um, I was squatting, like I said, every day. There were four days I was in California, so I did not squat then. And then uh, one day on the weekend, I did not squat. But I made that up because I did some double session squats. So most of my squats, uh, I'd say probably 75% of them were the front squats. I did a lot of pause front squats, either at the bottom or like that one where I was pausing in the middle. Um, I also did some eccentric pause on the back squat and then where I drop in. Uh, and then I'd work some with belts, some without belts. So that was really what I was doing in the first 29 days was just building up my capacity for the frequency. So I wasn't too concerned with, I mean, obviously I was trying to push numbers and trying to hit my minimums, uh, but I wasn't too concerned with that uh, in terms of like uh, pushing too, too hard and failing a lot. I was really trying not to fail at all. And then uh, my volume wasn't that much big. So I did, I did some back offsets um, on like one or two squat sessions a week, but most of it was just like, you know, work up. And if you look at day 30 or onward, uh, you can kind of see how I worked up and the reps and the back off. So a lot of these here, my front squat coming into it, uh, I hit 340 in that first week. So that was kind of my, uh, kind of my working max there, 340, 350 uh, pounds. And then my back squat, um, I just kind of set like 405 as my back squat. So we're basically like one, 185 kilo as my back squat kind of max. So I just basically tried to hit in this phase uh, 305 or like 138 kilos for front squat as a daily minimum. So no matter how I felt, I was working up and hitting that. Or if back squat, it was 365. Um, sorry, I'm like wearing pounds, but just to, you know, to get that over, that's about one, uh, I'm really bad, 65 kilo or so. So those are my working minimums uh, that I just basically knew I had to come in and hit. So a lot of these here, like I said, leg strength has always been an issue for me. So my goal with this was for the first 29 days was to get in, get some good squats in, um, try not to get caught like that too much. That was towards the end of it. And I was like, you know what? I got to back off, but go figure like this one here was the second session. And that's the same weight and a little better. there, still sticking points. So definitely saw an improvement in the first 30 days, really just my ability to handle like 315 on the front squat in any variation with shoes, without shoes, with a belt, without a belt. Um, and then the back squat, I didn't put a lot of effort in the back squat just because I didn't want to, you know, overload things. The front squat allowed me to be a little more uh, conservative with my overall loadings. But definitely moving 365, 375 for singles here and there. Um, you know, just really working on that. But like come in into this, like that was like a five rep max. So definitely things felt heavy on the back squat, but I'm okay with that. Uh, and we're just gonna see what happens here. So feeling good and we're gonna move forward into the next month.